Hi guys, probably wondering why I'm looking like this. Well, it's Saturday, it's cold, and I'm not going outside. I'm going to stay in my PJs all day. So I decided to make a video because um, I something came to my attention that I never actually made a video about the proper way to moisturizing our natural transitioning um, hair. One thing that the reason why I have this channel, the reason why I decided to start to record different things that I'm finding out in my trials and tribulation and victory sometimes with my hair as I'm transitioning. And what you will find if you are transitioning as well is a lot of things that we were doing in the past to our hair, the reason why we weren't getting any results sometimes, or sometimes even if you're getting results but your hair is not totally healthy, is because we're going about it the wrong way. Me, for example, when I first got on YouTube, I had no idea how to properly care for my own textured hair. I had no clue. Like, when you have a perm, they always tell you water is bad. Water, oh no, don't use water on your hair. We all know that. Like, don't put water because water is going to mess it up. Well, when you're natural, your hair feeds off and love water. So water is the number one is the number one moisturizing agent for our hair. Now, you could use water, but you need to also use something to seal the moisture, to keep the moisture into your hair. This is one thing that I found out also on YouTube and various websites that I've read on. So, you could use an oil like virgin coconut oil, olive oil, castor oil, jojoba oil, and the list goes on on different type of oils that you can use to actually seal the moisture into your hair and even shea butter after you put water or even a water-based moisturizing um, product into your hair. As far as a water-based moisturizing um, product, I haven't found one that I liked so far. So what I've used is I just spray water in my hair and I seal it in with either um, shea butter, jojoba oil, coconut oil. Sometimes I mix it all in, olive oil, um, and I seal in the moisture. And that, I found that that actually helps a lot as far as keeping my cornrows underneath my wigs or even when my hair is out, as far as keeping my hair really moisturized the proper way. So that's the steps that you should be using to moisturize your hair properly. And you shouldn't use any product that has mineral oil or petroleum in it. Like no Vaseline, no nothing like that. Because those things, what they do, they sit on top of your hair and they block the moisture from coming in. So if you were to put Vaseline on your hair, for example, and you wet your hair, that moisture is not going to go in because... The Vaseline is used as a barrier to block it from coming into your hair. That's why natural products are very important. And I think it's, um, I'm not going to say it's, you not gonna, your hair is not going to grow if you don't use any um, natural product. But it's easier for your hair to benefit from the products if you're putting stuff in your hair that it's not going to block the moisture from getting in. And as we all know, well moisturized hair and well balanced hair equal growth and growth equal, you know, growth retention, meaning your hair will grow. Your hair is always growing, but you'll be able to keep the length that your hair is growing. It won't be dry, it won't be brittle, it won't be damaged. So with that said, um, I'm going to talk to you guys about this lovely young lady that I found on YouTube and she was talking about this leave-in um, leave conditioner that she made. Um, her name is Kimei Tube. You could go ahead and go into her channel if you already don't follow her or if you don't have her on there. She has um, given me great tips as far as keeping my hair moisturized because my hair is type 4, so my hair tends to navigate towards dryness. So I had to find something that was going to keep my hair moisturized um, really, 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 like, it was going to keep my hair moisturized at all times, I guess. So, she said on her, um, she used pH strips, and she checked the pH balance, which I have not been doing yet, but I plan on doing that in the future. But she put aloe vera juice and, um, and her leave-in conditioner, 
and with some oil in it and it keeps your hair moisturized so I tried to do that last time I moisturized my hair I used um, I didn't use any natural conditioner because leave-in conditioner because I don't have one at the time I did bought one from RK's natural which is black onyx line which is the um, lemon but honestly I I like my leave-in to be a lot more um, creamy so I added some Garnier Fructis, which is really not that natural, but I didn't have any other creamy base. I just wanted to experiment the product until I went out to go buy a more expensive leave-in conditioner. So I went to Whole Foods and I got this, the Lily of the Desert, which is the aloe vera juice. And I also um, got from another website, which is called Shea Naturals, and I got some pure shea butter. I had some shea butter before, but I ran out, and I honestly love this site because you get a lot more for your, you get a lot more for your buck. It's because I got this big thing for about six dollars and seventy-five um, cents, which is like eight ounce, and um, I paid like five dollars last time for a little jar that was about maybe three or like three or three and a half ounces. So that was a come up for me. I'm glad. I'm happy about that. And also, I got some pure jojoba oil. The jojoba oil is the only oil, as far as my researches are concerned, that um, is very similar to the natural oils in our hair, which is the sebum. So this oil is actually very similar to it. So it has benefits. But it's beneficial to put that into your hair. So as far as the um, leave-in conditioner is concerned, what I did, I got the Garnier Fructis. I put a little bit of the leave-in that I got from um, RK's Natural, and I put the aloe vera juice, and I added some um, olive oil, some coconut oil, and a little bit of jojoba oil because I didn't have any thicker oil like castor oil or something like that. I haven't purchased any yet, which I plan on doing as well. I just I'm trying so hard not to become a product junkie, but it's so hard because. Um, I don't, I didn't really know what to do before and after I start watching different, um, websites and reading on different, um, subjects, I found out there's so much different ways to go about caring for our hair that I think I'm becoming a product, a project junkie and I'm trying not to be. It's hard, but I'm trying. So that's why I haven't bought any castor oil yet because I have virgin coconut oil, jojoba oil, olive oil. And I'm trying to get rid of that before I go buy some more oil. Because I don't want to have too much oils going on. But anyway, that's a whole other topic. Um, as far So you mix all that stuff together. And then you could put it as a leave-in conditioner into your hair after you wash your hair. And braid your hair. And let me tell you, that was the best, best, best advice that I could get. If I didn't get anything else. That's something I should keep with my with me for the rest, I guess, for the rest of my natural journey, which is going to be a long time because I don't plan on ever relaxing my hair. So that's something that I will definitely continue on doing. I will be making a video once I get a better living conditioner on mixing it, or you could just go see Kim A Tube and you could see she has the recipe step by step and you could substitute. She used not today. I haven't purchased that um, leave-in conditioner just because my hair is not totally natural yet. And I don't see the need to spend $12 on a, con a leave-in conditioner now since my hair is not really going to benefit. I mean, my, my, I guess my roots will benefit from it, but I still got those straight ends. So that's the reason I haven't purchased that. So that's, you know, pretty much it, you guys. I just wanted to come and talk to you guys about the benefits, the benefit of properly using product to moisturize our hair because once our hair is moisturized then you will see a total difference like my hair texture everything looks so much different when I use these things because my hair was well moisturized and I was able to run my fingers to my hair I, I had no issues and no problem and also adding a little bit of oil in my shampoo and conditioner has helped me a great deal and I hope that um, if anybody sees this video that they didn't already know, it could help them too. And um, thanks for watching. Bye. I'm more than just an option. Hey, hey. 
refuse to be forgotten